So if you haven't seen the search for Grog one shot, it's available on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash critical role. Mm. And if you haven't seen it, you should tune out now because I'm going to ask a few search for Grog <gasps> questions Whoa, before we really? go tonight. That yeah, why not? Ah, some people shit. asked about it and I was like, yeah, let's ask some search for Grog questions. Okay, okay. So if you haven't seen it, we love you. We'll see you next week. Go now, please. If you have seen it. You're in for a trip. <laughs> <laughs> Liam. Building suspense, yes. Uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu 2015 is back because yep. they asked a great question for this. What motivated you to play a grave cleric of the Raven Queen knowing the loss of Vax was still on everyone's mind? Did you do it to help people move on or to purposely <laughs> twist a knife in old <laughs> wounds? Oh, twist a knife, everyone's been saying that to me. I did it for two reasons. Um, we actually played, we played a little private home game recently for fun. Ooh, Sleep Wiggles. Uh, as Vox Machina and everybody, like it didn't need to make sense, we just played as our characters and it was so yeah. much fucking was fun. Awesome. I was there, it was awesome. Um, but everyone was gonna get to be their character from Vox Machina, even Travis was gonna get to be Grog. I yeah. knew for like five or ten minutes and, you know, I felt like envious, right? Yeah. Because it, it feels good to, to slip on those skins again. Yeah. yeah. So I just, I wanted to do something that was at least adjacent to, you know, to, to be connected to what I did in the past. And I can't do that forever. Like if we do a bunch of VM games here and there, like I, I obviously can't do that. But then the other reason I did it is like, I didn't want to do something random. I didn't want to just show up and say, hey, I'm Phil, let's <laughs> adventure. I wanted to do something yeah. like I like building out this world. Um, and I've liked like my one shots, even though they're my own little weird pocket dimensions, they're still, I feel like helping build this world that Matt has started and that our characters have helped flesh out. So I liked the idea of adding a character that I would be interested in in like the lore of this world. And um, and she's a person, She's there's, there's three, high-level uh, wardens at the, the Dusk Meadow uh, Temple yeah. that uh, guide or protect the council there. Um, and I had a lot of fun just thinking about who she was. And she, she, she saw VM, unbeknownst to them, a couple of times before the end. And um, I just wanted something that was, was real and in the world. And I thought, like, who, if they go to Vasselheim, who would literally, who would, would it make sense to step forward and help out or who would be offered? Mm. And while the Raven Queen is spooky as fuck, um, she's not evil. She's yeah. bonafide. She's bonafide. She's bonafide, man. Um, wow. She's not evil and she um, values the, the sacrifice that her, her uh, chosen one made and that Vox Machina made, so it made sense for her to offer up this person and you know for a while i thought like maybe i'll be a paladin who's jealous of vax who's like i fought so hard and i i served in this asshole but i didn't want to do that i also wanted to death proof vox machina so i was like oh. i'll be a death cleric oh yeah and then if people fall down i'll get them up and make sure that we don't break the universe yeah smart yeah. then she went down yeah but, yeah i mean i still help i just i absorb the damage yeah exactly yeah right henry right beautiful character too beautiful. yeah she's gorgeous for both of you, Team Andy the second, how excited were you to step back into Vox Machina's shoes after playing the Mighty Nine for around a year? So obviously, really good. it was just cool. The 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 weeks leading up to it, you and Travis obviously had to pick new characters, but just to be back in that headspace again and talking about those people and looking at art of those people, yeah. There's, that was oh, just man. something else. I've, I've been I've been looking at art again of like Vex and. Mm -hmm all everybody it so was, much There's it was very heart melty to watch you and percy get to interact it, again it was, yeah, it was great. that was great really crazy and i gave me and talson gave each other the biggest hug afterwards and it's like i miss percy mm -hmm. i missed that relationship yeah so much Man, he's so that different. first sentence came out of yeah. Taliesin's mouth, yeah. and he was like, really? let's go demand some help. I was just like, Percy! <laughs> yeah. Really both, like, but, you know, Sam is just funny at all times, on the show, off the show. Um, just like the the Vex 
voice and persona and the and the Percy voice and persona are so distinct and just yep. like scratched an itch as mm -hmm. soon as I heard it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you feel like my sister in real life and you know, like I miss that interaction and sitting next to you yeah. every week in that way. So to, to hear you, even though I didn't get to be a part of it Ugh. in the same way, to hear you talk, I just like, it just scratched during, a nerve yeah. in the during back of my During sound brain. check, it that first good. darling yeah. literally made me tear up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, I'm okay. Everything's fine. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I was too busy trying to slide into my pants in the back. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. those were magical. The crit roll closet people found my outfit. Oh, Surprisingly, sorry. the entire outfit was twenty-two dollars. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> they, Amazon was like, "I mean, if you really want this, I guess you should buy it." <laughs> um, Laura, yeah, did you enjoy having Lievtel around, or was it a painful memory? It was painful. It was painful, but. Um, she didn't have the reaction to it the same way that Keyleth did, you know. Um, it, it was bittersweet, you know. I think she appreciated that someone appreciated what her brother did. Yeah. Did you guys have to go back and, well, not you, Liam. Did you have to go back and watch anything and go like, wait, what was the accent? Or no. Are you sure? That's no, that like shit it. is ingrained forever. That is that's cool. It's Glad. part of us. It it feels like you're allowing a, a part of you that you've kept in a little jar yeah. to like be free again. It, but that's the longest either of you have ever played a character as actors, right? Mm. No. 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 Really? No, but. Because of some Definitely anime more shit? hours played. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say. Yeah, like I play, I have spent more time in Vax's skin and Caleb's skin at this point than, say, like Illidan from Warcraft. I've right. done yeah. for over That's a true. decade, yeah. but it's just like Jaina little visits yeah. over over the years. Yeah. Not 500 hours mm -hmm. trying yeah. to beat someone else. Has it been 500 hours? Oh, yeah. Campaign 1 was 500 plus. Yeah. It was? Yeah. yeah. I should really watch that. It looked really good. <laughs> it would help. Crims on Nephilim wants to know, how is Sam after drinking from the mug of infinite diseases during the search for Grog One Shot? Okay, so we had a debate about this in the office because Max said, to his knowledge, and nobody would be more knowledgeable than Max when it comes to this, that mug was not opened. The top of that, the top of that thing was not opened. No. Between the last night of campaign one and search for grub. It literally just went on the shelf. It, it was on the shelf down here. Yeah. And there was a, I don't want to call it, I don't want to call it a discharge. There was a film on the bottom of it that you couldn't get off, yeah. but it moved. Does that make sense? Yeah, all of us, all of us in the green room before the show. Do not do it. And we people were, are like, don't do don't not do it for pleading. last. We Just were don't pleading do it. with him to not do it. It was disgusting. Yeah, it was a Voldemort phylactery. Do you think that <laughs> he is this. so committed to the bit that he's willing to die yes. for yes. for comedy? Yes. And my follow-up question. His kids will understand. Would that be the <laughs> ultimate way to go for someone like Sam? His kids would understand. That's what true. What an idiot. That would just be the stupidest fucking... Yeah. yeah. Like, there were chunks of shit coming off of it as he was he drinking. Was, uh, he, he was, was constantly pulling, it out of his mouth. pulling oh. stuff out of his mouth during the show. Yeah. I mean, and throwing it on the bed. Every time he drank, I was like... In his defense, I've seen him do a lot of other disgusting things. Yeah, that's true. Yes. That's true. <laughs> I love the live audience whenever we do one of these. I it was really cool to see a lot of LA people there because we yeah. haven't, you know, we did the one in the movie theater years ago, um, the first ever live critical role, live, live, live. But it was just so cool, and we had the art thing that weekend. It was just an amazing special weekend. weekend. We were already so high off of that art show mm -hmm. going into the search for Grog that everybody was just at a 10, I think, that night. Travis especially was turned up oh that night. Oh my gosh. It just felt like a cel that weekend felt like a celebration of everything that we've sort of made and told and built together over the it last did. year. It felt like a celebration of the story of each other, of this amazing community, sure. yeah. of the artists, of all that stuff. So cool to get to like meet so many of the artists that weekend. Oh my great. God, yes. I We were nerding out harder than they were. Yeah. To meet us, we were freaking out yeah. more. 
I was so bummed we didn't get to go to the artist brunch. It was so good. It was really, it was really special. Oh, no, I so missed that too. You know, babies. Babies. They make things hard. They're super easy. They're super easy. You can compartmentalize them. You can ignore them for huge stretches of time. Yeah. It's optional. <laughs> Caring about them is optional. Yeah. It really is, though. Yeah. That's good to know I for to when I have lessons. kids with mm -hmm. Ashley. Yeah. yeah. Or less. <laughs> I like this question. I want to know your answer to this. Caitlin Bartoni asks There were so many moments in the search for Grog that had heartwarming or heart rending feelings of nostalgia or returning home. What are a few of the moments that really brought out those emotions for you? Second Gilmore's voice. Oh, came up. Sure. that was big. Gilmore sure. and Allura too. Allura too. Just yeah. a close second on that. Yeah. yeah. Um, the mention of Kima. That was good. Mm -hmm. Um. Yep. Percy. Uh, yeah, Percy Vex banter. Mm -hmm. um, Scanlan wanting to kill Trinket. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. can carry him. Oh, I, I can know, that carry was insane. him. <laughs> that was insane. I like. Okay, so I had fully been. Like thinking I was gonna have to leave Trinket behind because mm. uh, I I didn't know what we we were gonna have to do and if it meant going to that realm then I I was like Trinket can't that's too much yeah that's too much one hit one hit yeah, Trinket's gone. dead Gonzo and then especially if he can't go back in the fucking thing because Grog was in there yeah and then. Matt pulling up the I can carry him, I want to go. Mm. Kill me. Scanlan Kill me! Just been elated. <laughs> uh, Scanlan giving inspiration. Mm. Yeah. Sa Scanlan singing. Yeah. yeah, I miss that. I miss his songs. Yeah. Matt was Pike. so happy Pike's, to be back. Oh, God, yeah, Pike. don't get me started. Pike. Just yeah. Pike, period. Pike and her buddies. Yeah, mm -hmm. I Matt being so happy to be back in that world with you guys was fun. Mm. That was really cool. Yeah. Roasting the shit out of Travis. Oh yes. my god. Yeah. Yes. I loved your comment about it being a year long roast. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Saved him up. Search for Bob. <laughs> Search for Bob. Search for Bob. Knock on wood. Could be so fun. Well, that was a blast. You guys can watch it if you haven't already. Uh, they, they all left, I guess, people who hadn't seen it. Because why would they still be here <laughs> if we're still talking about it? Everybody saw. That's all the time we have for tonight, my friends. Oh, man. Aww. Thank you all for joining us, as always. Um, as you'll notice, the next few weeks, we won't really have any talks marking after dark. We have some ideas that we're throwing around, so we will keep you guys posted. We have some diabolical ideas <laughs> for something else. We shall see. I would like to thank <laughs> Tiefling time. Tiefling time. Ooh, Tiefling time. Yes. <gasps> Tieflings up. <laughs> Instead of like pinkies up, you know? Yeah, no, I get Tieflings it. Up. It's an erection joke. It's an erection joke because yeah. Tieflings up, uh -huh. you know? I would like to thank Liam. I would like to thank Laura. I would like to thank Great Roll Stats for counting how many fucking dick jokes were on this episode. Oh. Episode 53 of Campaign 2 airs oh, this Thursday, twitch.tv. Oh, a slash. Slash. Roll. Until then, don't forget to love each other and don't worry, it's almost Thursday. Penis Whee! joke. Stay tuned, my friends. Good night, Henry. Oh, oh buddy. No. what's up? Oh, oh he knows the show. Yeah. You know what we should do to end tonight's show in our last few minutes mm -hmm. is ask some search for grog questions okay that we yeah. got from the community yeah sure. totally yeah. because we asked last week uh laura and liam the twins when they were on but i figured since you know you guys yeah, were sure. on last week yeah, let's get into that. it sure. matt two imposters asked if you had to pick just one what have you missed most about dming for vox machina oh i mean you know oh there's 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 if I had to pick one, shit, that's really hard. Yeah. I mean, I... You don't have to. I miss, I miss the, how deeply steeped the camaraderie was. Mm. We're getting there with the Mighty Nine. Yeah. You know, and we, we started from a very disparate place as far as the relationships go. And it's been, it, uh, much like Vox Machina, it didn't start all being super BFFs. Like, it was a transition. By the time everyone came in and, and we were streaming it, they had really begun to kind of really become a family unit. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're starting to get into that territory now with the Mighty Nine, and I'm super excited for for all those you know those those threads of friendship to get tighter as we go. 
but by the end of the campaign of Vox Machina, they, they were they were was a such a deep-rooted family, mm. uh, and all knew each other so well in and out yeah. that it I don't know. There's there's something beautiful about that. I don't know, like warm and kind of comfort food esque mm -hmm. to me about that. And doing the one shot reminded me of that, and, yeah. and oh, it just it felt so warm and fuzzy. And those steaks are crazy when it's that when you have that bond. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those steaks um, are. I don't miss the level twenty combat. <laughs> My uh, that God, shit is crazy. dude! Yeah. My it's God, it's epic. It's fun. It's intense. But yeah, but like, especially when you're out of practice for a year, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I have how many abilities? And you take 123 hip points. It's been a while since I've heard that. Yeah, you know, like yeah, it's man. fun. Yeah, but um, I I'm definitely a fan of of earlier levels. You know, like yeah. levels 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 three through fifteen. I think are my like golden levels of in D and D. Of that that's kind of. It's like those first couple seasons of Lost. Yeah. 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 yeah even then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. Yeah. Hey, it's Cena wants to know, as of tonight's taping, it will have been 45 days since the search for Grog taping. I have to ask, how are the mutations coming along? You know, the ones that must have come with drinking from that most tainted Jesus of Christ, mugs. Sam, what the fuck were you thinking? Okay, we <laughs> all oh, tried. We, we all advance. tried in advance to tell him not Okay, here's the thing. Since campaign one ended, did you wash that out between no, campaign been on one? Your set since campaign one. I don't know if it's here anymore because it, oh, it's up top there. It's been on your set since oh, campaign one ended. Uh, I think I touched it once for something. I but don't. I didn't look at it. And when when do you I, know why it's up there? To be, because because of legal it reasons? smelled like something <laughs> crawled up a dead corpse's asshole <laughs> and cooked rotten other asshole on a hot plate it's inside weird. of it. It's almost like the third act of the Ghoulies. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Zach. <laughs> the inner, the inner uh, compartment. It's got an outer metal compartment and an inner, an inner sort of plastic thing that had over the year years sort of shrunk uh, somehow and that's the and, fun guy and uh disconnected from the outer compartment and so there was like this 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 vacuum this space in there that anything yeah, could like, get down like people under the stairs that's oh, kind of you know no. in between and a, cr a big crack <laughs> down the middle of it sort of so the liquid like, could flow out wait, and but back you were, in you were doing this after you would take a sit you were there was Items. There was pieces of something in there. I couldn't tell. Okay. They were it's solid okay. pieces. I couldn't tell if it was the plastic, pieces of metal, or other. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what it was, what but I, I know I didn't want to swallow those pieces. So. Oh boy. Them out. <laughs> uh, I'm disgusted. It, I believe that the alcohol could. No, it does could not enough alcohol, everything. dude. It's wine. It's not enough alcohol. If you were drinking, if you were drinking, fucking. Uh, gold Schlager, yeah. or uh, what's the stuff that you like, Max? Yukon Jack? <laughs> <laughs> what? Beast. No, yeah, 75 year old scotch and diet. Oh, Coke don't bring that up again. Diet cherry, Pepsi, I, Dr. Uh, Pepper. I am still paying penance. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> never going to happen again. I know what I've done. I'm sorry. Matt, answer this question instead uh, yes, of being okay. ashamed. But <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Didn't even have to mention it on air. It's gonna follow me to the end of my days. I'm sorry. So I, I'm unaware of what happened. You Don't had, talk about it. Question. Go. <laughs> you had very expensive scotch and you mixed it with diet. Sugar I didn't know it was super expensive. I didn't even pour it. Max poured it. I was like, I was like, sure, it can make a mixed drink. I didn't know. Sure. I, I did, feel bad. I did five minutes that night at the top of talks, shaming God him and Thompson for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Northern Goblin yes. does not care that you don't respect expensive I, scotch. I, I Instead I wants you to Everyone answer this cares. question. How long have you wanted to throw shade on Vox Machina for letting Grog have the deck of many things? Oh, man. It, it was that their version of you pouring that Coke into the scotch? Was <laughs> sure. Jim the Grog sure, yeah, the yeah. deck of many things? Yeah, I'll take that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was... It was, <sighs> it was so stupid. It was... It, we were in the middle of the denouement. Not even the middle. We were just starting the denouement. It was like, it was, it, it was. We were, we were, just stepping into the sunsetting of the campaign. Uh, and that motherfucker, I pull a card. I'm like, okay, well, okay, well, okay. at the very least, <laughs> exactly. he has a very low chance of pulling the ones that'll really fuck up the. Of course, there we go. Yeah, he yeah. picks the worst card in the whole deck. I'm not. No, we're ending tonight. I'm not going to go like yeah, continue yeah. it up. So. So, so yeah, I glossed over it, and uh, and when we were talking about you know 
being kind of missing the characters and maybe doing a, a home turf, you know, one shot live game, we were like, maybe we should play out That's that, that sequence. And then the more I was pre prepping it, the more I was like, Travis, what the fuck did you do? I know. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make you pay for this. <laughs> yes. And now, and now how fitting that the, that, Episode ended so abruptly that there's still unfinished story. I know. I just I know. That we have to take. Is that is that one of the stretch goals? And did we meet it already? Yes. Search for, Search Bob. for Bob. Search for Bob. Was that the first stretch goal? I think it was one of them, right? The first one. It, yeah, was, it was the, the first, first one. one. So yeah. I think I it's think happening. we are now going to yeah. explore the end. It's of happening. The added on episode. Yes. Yeah. Which, I'm, on. Which, <laughs> which I'm excited about because the, there was a lot that we didn't get to. Yeah. Well, um, for those who don't know, we had to start at 9 p.m. Los Angeles time because yeah. of the venue rules, because they will have to allow, you know, it takes five hours to get anywhere in this town. <laughs> yeah. And so they have to allow for all that stuff. So by the time it was over, over the parking garages all around downtown, they closed at a certain hour and then you can't get your car out that night. Yeah, so we, and we had, so to, we had to, yeah, we had to get everybody out and, there so they could get to their okay. cars. And it okay, we got everybody out, there yeah. wasn't an issue. Um, but there were a lot of things that I had prepared for the session as backups and other threads in case you guys went chasing after Bob and we had to have that thing there and depending where it went. And also it had been a while since I'd done level 20, sure. shit, you yeah. know, one shots and, and uh, some things take a lot longer than I remember. Mm -hmm. Seriously. So, uh, so yeah, I'm excited that we get to explore and I, I get to expand on pandemonium and I'm aspects excited. there that I kind of, I kind of trimmed from the, from the one shot I'm even at the get go. I'm excited to, along the search for Bob, Somehow trigger, some trigger other something else. else. No. <laughs> it's just so gonna keep box never ending. Yes, do it. Side quest on Please a side quest it. on a side quest. Oh. Uh, just one Fox Machina one shot a month. That's all we ask for. Is just we just want to be. We just want to be around all of them for as long as we can. Uh, uh, Sam plus we own the skeleton. So plus we do on the skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we had to we had to rent shittier cameras that night because the skeleton cost so much money for Sam's <laughs> yeah, it's joke. It's a real human skeleton. Uh, <laughs> Lee five seven four wants to know, Sam, how'd it feel to be singing inspirations again? Oh, it was so great. I enjoy singing very much. Matt does too, and is very good Matt's at it. That's an incredible singer. Um, but I love. I miss singing so much, uh, and I. I maybe maybe next campaign I'll be a, some other sort of singer or something because it's it was really fun. It, it, the whole night felt like going back home and uh, yeah, that that part especially was really really fun. It's really yeah, great yeah. to sing on a stage full of uh, you know in front of thousands of people, especially with uh, acoustics as great as the Ace. That's right, oh, theater, man, and, yeah. the, and the auto tune that they had on too. Was very, <laughs> very helpful. <laughs> yeah, next campaign. Next campaign, Maybe a rapper? Next campaign, we gotta get Matt to sing. Matt is a great singer. He is a great singer. Mm, we're good. for you this campaign. No, I know a little bit, but it would be great if he could have to sing every single. What is going on? I don't know what <laughs> happened there. If he could sing every episode, that would make me happy. We had to censor That's something. Bad. We had to censor something? Yeah. One of five did my dick fall out? Yeah, it did. Oh, Jesus. It did. Yeah. <laughs> It happens. Luckily, we don't have a camera with that close up of a lens. <laughs> Matt, uh, Zemni and Critter wants to know mm -hmm. how long before the actual search for Grog did you decide Percy was going to actually lose his arm? Uh, that was that that was weeks before we started it. Cause I was like, okay, we're doing this. Uh, let me go back and rewatch the Denouement and everything that transpired there. As I'm going back and rewatching the the sequence that led up to those events, and then our our you know transition to the end of it, I was like, oh. Oh my God! They threw that out there. That's yeah. I'm oh, I'm gonna have to put that in there somehow. And I just I, once again, it's fun to fuck with them. And because it was kind of already established in a joking manner, I wanted to find a way to just throw a left hook in the middle of the story. Yeah. Um, and make them eat their words. Which yeah. Is fun yeah. too. How did that feel for you, it having been the so, so great or you the orchestrator? Of that joke? So great when any any stupid throwaway joke becomes canon. Yeah. <laughs> which happens a lot on our show, um, but it was also great because. In all of our years of playing with Matt as our DM, I've never seen him do anything like that before. Mm. That is so just wrong That's for the world. It. Yeah, does not, yeah, just, yeah. does not fit in this world, <laughs> yeah. but he's doing it anyway. I don't think you've ever done that. And it was so refreshing to see like, oh, he's just a goofball like us. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yep. Mercers, they're just like they're us. Just like <laughs> us. Yeah, there you go. There you go. 
Uh, Matt. Yes. They shop at discount stores. <laughs> they use baskets. It's very true, actually. Most of my wardrobe is Target clearance. Continue. Me too. Yay. Uh, Andrew Matney wants to know, did you take Liam and Ashley's components because of the ease in which they were able to navigate Pandemonium, or was it always your plan to do so? Uh, that was always part of my plan to, to introduce a new level of challenge into this. Mm. Um, it's like, all right, you're all level twenty. You have all these things at your disposal. Let me let me find some unique way to to you know to fuck with your shit a little bit. And so, uh, plus, uh, in my initial plan with them bringing you know if they had managed to bring Grog's body to the crystal and he comes back, I honestly a part of me was like, well, maybe he'll have a little time to play as Grog, and if they just bamfed out. You know, that would not be fun. it wouldn't yeah. be as fun for him to be only be Grog if, if he didn't bring him in for the battle. Right, you know? yeah. I'm sure it'd be fine. But a little part of me was like, what if there was a little time after he get to, you know, they had to go do this sure. other little thing that he could be Grog for a little bit. We never got around to it, so I guess mm -hmm. that'll be the next mm -hmm. one shot. Mm -hmm. So it worked out that way in the long run anyway. Mm. Um, and the most fucking ab absurd ending to that <laughs> one shot. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it was, it was it was partially just wanting to kind of curb them a little bit and add a new unique challenge to their you know we're gods type mm -hmm. mentality, right. uh, and in if it worked out, give Travis a little more time as Grog before they just jumped back into Exandria. Mm. Yeah. If only we could give Liam some more time as Vax. Who? Hey man, <laughs> he made that deal. Yeah. He made that dirty, dirty deal. I'm sorry. When he, when he, I saw his uh, one shot character and he introduced who it was and stuff on the I stage, I didn't know he was going to play it like I that. I was like, of course. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you fucker. I was like, of course. He told me he was going to make Raven Queen cleric. Yeah, I'm course. like, okay, narratively it makes sense, you know, as like a, as like a, a an apology and a thank you for the sacrifice and everything. Listen, so I'm like, all right, cool, it sounds good. I had no idea he was going to play it yeah. that much of like a knife twisting character. Yeah, yeah. I know. So it made, I know, which made it <laughs> extra, inter extra yeah. fun to kill her. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Like, oh, twice now, buddy. Uh, I felt bad about that. <laughs> Sam, Crep Teen wants to know when you attempted to wipe Grog's memory, was that to keep the timeline of him waking up and not knowing what happened at the end of 115 or just Scanlan being Scanlan? I think a uh, little both. I wanted to maintain the, the timeline as well. I, like Matt, just really need canon lore to mm. be perfect yeah. <laughs> always um uh no that was a thing that grog didn't didn't write he didn't remember anything of what happened so we had to make that we had to make that, make that happen. happen and scanlan's always gotta gotta fuck with people yeah of course yeah scanlan's gotta scan a scanlan's gotta scan <laughs> put it on a t-shirt no please no. don't no. put it on a thong Ooh. there you go we don't have any thongs. We, don't have we should any have like thongs. a Scanlan themed thong. Picture of a cube on it. A picture of a cube. That's a great idea. Yeah. And I'll go design one tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and Meat Man on needs to be on there somewhere. <laughs> there's like a website where you can design thongs, like how there's like there engagement rings. What website? if the thong said, Enter <laughs> yeah. the Meat Man? Huh? <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like where you're going. Back the front. It's a big thong. It's got a cube and a bunch of writing on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Yeah. Uh, last one for both of you from Chisari. Yes. In the search for Grog, Trinket's line, I can carry him, was so moving. After all the discussion of leaving him behind, isn't it wonderful that Trinket was the one to free Grog and unleash him on the Empyrean in the final battle? That was beautiful. I didn't. I was afraid they were going to leave, like leave him behind, which would have been fine. It would have made sense if they if they if they felt they didn't want to bring him into there, um, but then they would have had somebody carry Grog with them the entire time. Right. Um, and it just made sense. It was, it was an improvised moment that that had more impact than I expected. And then, That's great. and then as you're going through the battle, it was. I remember that one moment where I was like, I don't remember remembering that they have Grog nearby. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to nudge him. I'm going to see yeah. if it comes up. They can do this on their own or get fucked on their own. I don't know. And then when when Laura brought it up, I was like, I think I think there's enough room where she can get him over there. And and I didn't think about it in the time of that that kind of poetic balance. It was when we were watching it back and, and going back and remembering and seeing the first scene where where Trinket had said that. I was like, oh my god, that worked out perfectly. Yeah, I didn't even realize in the moment. Yeah, kismet, kismet. Big time. I love when it works out. <laughs> Man, that was such a fun night. It was such a good was episode incredible. and special and. That weekend was just so beautiful with meeting all the artists that yeah, flew in yeah. from all over the world. And your outfit. 
My outfit was fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. And Ash's outfit, Ash oh, was like, yeah. she showed up and she took it out of the suitcase and she was like, she knew what my outfit was. She was like, I wanted to have something that kind of matched yours. And She had a backup awesome. outfit that night. Mm -hmm. She, she, she showed, did. She showed another dress. She did. She had a And we all backup. helped her pick the, the purple one because it was one. by far the, the better yeah. of the yeah. two. I can't wait to have her back. I know. Yeah. Um, Soon. You special. A little birdie tells me a few weeks from now. What? For an extended period of time? Do we know? Do we? We don't know a lot. I don't know much. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have for tonight, folks. I would like to thank Sam and Matt for joining us. Thank you for Especially having us. Always. Cancel Blind Spot. Episode 54 airs this Thursday. Until then, don't forget to love each other. And don't worry, it's almost Thursday. Stay tuned, my friends. And Between the Sheets comes back on Monday with Chris Birkin. Woo -hoo! Oh, I can't wait. It's really good. It's really good. Awesome. Good night, guys. We love you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Say good night. Before we go tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, so we are going to ask some search for grog questions. Oh, awesome! Because oh, the yeah. fans have asked us to do that. Yes. And we've really had good. four people on so far. You guys are the next two. Marisha, Katie Utke wants to know what was it like stepping back into Keila Fest after such a long time away? Oh, man. It was great. It was like warm, comfy blanket, yeah. like when you put your robe on at home and just sit by the fire. Yep. It's just a good, warm, fuzzy feeling. Yeah. It was somebody, great. Somebody clean your car for you. You yeah. get back in, you're like, yeah. My I favorite. Had to like go back into awkward brain. It was fun. I don't know if we got any pictures of this. Maybe we did. I'll ask Chris. But in the green room, minutes before the show, everyone looking at their character sheets. Yeah. <laughs> and you had pages of stuff out. Everybody had so much crap because, yeah. Marisha binders. specifically because it's oh, pages of yes, shit. pages, literally. And the panic that was like, oh my God, I was in this every week at yeah. one point. I was like, no fucking wonder I was stretched out. Yep. yep. Damn. Uh, Travis X Dragon Rider X wants to know, where did you get the inspiration to create Sir Bertrand Bell. <laughs> that was such a great character. It certainly had nothing to do with Gilderoy Lockhart or me being a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> it was 100% that. Yeah, very Gilderoy yeah. Lockhart. Yeah, that and I think like Runaway Bride was on the TV and I was like, Richard Gere is a handsome little son of a bitch. I'm gonna make an older Silver Fox looking Oh, nice. Character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give us an older guy that's full of shit. He's yeah. been Silver Fox his entire life. Yeah, totally. Totally. He was yeah. like 20 and he was old. Seriously. It's crazy. Yeah, just one of those old handsome guys. Yeah. Yeah. I think, think that'll happen the... to me. No. No. Yeah. Aw, Steve, Thanks, you're so Steve. nice. Yeah. What do you want us to tell you? <laughs> Nothing you now. Know? Steve Steve sealed the deal. What are you doing after this? You want to come over and watch the Bachelor finale with me, Steve? Nope. <laughs> I'm 0 for 10. Rebecca Justino has a question for Travis. No. Let's ask this one, Marisha, because I just asked Travis one. Alita Stewart, 15. How did you navigate Keyleth's grief? Uh, was it something you thought over or did it develop naturally over role play? Oh, uh, no, I thought about it deeply. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, well, I thought about it for a long time after the game ended. Sure. That was weird. Uh, like real life grief for fictional characters. And then also like the kind of grief of retiring our campaign was kind of mixed emotions. Um, so yeah, no, there was that grief, but, uh, yeah, we, we talked a lot with Matt because we didn't want it to be like a bummer, um, but also didn't want to ignore the fact that, you know, the elephant titus in the room to quote Brian sure. Foster. I didn't say that. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, so. That's not on tape. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's fucking insensitive. Uh, the, the route of, um, kind of using this immediate trip after all of this um, as a way of kind of escapism mm -hmm. and compartmentalization. I'll Seems deal with it like, after we get Grog back. Yeah, anything, distract me, please. Yeah. You're welcome, I did it for you. Thanks, oh. Grog. Give you time to heal Thank and process you. and walk through your grief. I did just go on a little walkabout. Yeah, you find you Plain in there, all right? Plane of Panamonium. Come for me when you're done. Oh. <laughs> what did you think when you, uh, what did you think when you, when Liam busted his character out? Oh, fuck you, bro. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
No, and we've talked about, he's like, were you actually mad? I'm like, no, of course I wasn't actually mad. But in Keyleth's eyes, mm -hmm. it's like a walking, you know, mm -hmm. billboard yeah. of a reminder. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, in front of you at all times, so. And that's what, that's what Liam wanted to do. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Travis, yep. Chris Patterson asks, this isn't the first time you've pulled out an actual 20 or two in a huge moment for Grog. Between the Empyrean and Kevdak, which was the most satisfying? <sighs> Man, I, yeah, I, I genuinely thought I would never top the Kevdak moment. And, and just because it was story and the, and the importance to Grog, Kevdak I think is always still the top, but in that live audience, with that energy and that wave of sound and just the probability, like the, the percentages were so low for that to happen. It was, I, I told everybody afterwards, like I've, I've scored touchdowns that didn't mean that much to didn't me. Didn't feel yeah, like yeah, that, that, that moment that. was amazing. I was amazing. so glad Daniel was right behind you. It was the only time we've ever been happy he was somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so he could uh, walk over in his bandana and yeah. get a shot of that twenty. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I. What how dice I is that? that one, could so. I have that? I would love to roll that against my players. Sure. That thing needs to be cast in resin. Yeah, that's the. It's the same Kev deck one because I just have one it's set of dice. Yeah, you only it's have. He only has one set of dice. That's why all of his damage rolls as Grog took yeah. four hours. I have a couple <laughs> extra d20s and a couple extra like d12s just for when I got crazy, but I never use them. I just roll singles because. I don't like rolling, you know, too many dice. At you once. carry a lot of singles. You know it. To the bank. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I don't know where that was. Any going. of you? I don't know. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Do we have time? <laughs> oh, hey, let's talk about After Dark for a second. Yeah. Mm. So, we stopped doing it for a little while. We said we're going to talk to you guys about it later. So we have some ideas. Yeah. And we're trying to see how they're coming along. Uh, yes. Yeah. So we'll keep if you guys. People want them. We'll keep you guys posted. Yeah. We have some very interesting ideas. Really? I think we've yeah. How much is a helicopter? In GTA or in real life? In real life, but one that looks like mine in GTA. That's too hot much. Pink. Too, too, too much. much. Yep. Can we? Six figures. Oh really? Yep. At least. Oh, <laughs> Sam's got that kind of money laying around in his uh, mattress that we shot the promo on. <laughs> yeah, can we just talk about the beer that's in his champagne flute in the <laughs> Kickstarter video? It's beer? It's it beer. beer. <laughs> I think, think actually... it has a head on it. It's like a quarter oh, inch. Wow. Yeah. I think we handed it to him because we just thought, we thought of the joke in the moment super fast and we we're like, oh, go get, go do that. And I don't think he knew it was beer. Don't. I think we have a take somewhere of him sipping it and going, that's beer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Anticipating that. Uh, one more search for Grog. T. Mandy the second. Which character besides your own were you most happy to see in action again? Percy. Yes. Percy was great. God, I, I forgot I about how that silky dark motherfucker. I know. He's something he else. Was, oh. oh man, and he, he like formed. nailed it. That. And his and that one turn, the record breaking damage yes. turn. Holy yes. shit. Yes. Unleash the beast. What was it? He has wow. such a per his Percy lines. I'm just like, God, it was oh, like that, no that time. First one about how let's go kindly demand some help. Yeah. I just yes. like I almost like, screamed. I was yeah. like, Percy, yeah. When when Keyleth Tyson's asked him to help genius. him, he's, he's a genius. genius. When when Keyleth was like, Help, help me, and he was like, I am helping him helping run things. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's he an improv genius. He's as, so as good. Percy. Yeah. God oh. damn it. Yeah, he was great. I mean, and then of course, like seeing Sam and Scanlan. Yeah. Back in uh, yeah. back back in the cube. Oh. <laughs> it was pretty good. Oh boy. Here, hearing him do his little songies again. That outfit was. That and, and the first time, uh, the first time Laura said, "Darling," I was oh, like, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." <laughs> yeah, her voice. Just was everything. Amazing. It felt like. I mean, same with Pike though. Same yeah. with Ashley when she was like, "Grog." Oh. Yeah. Grog, are He's you in smart. there? He's smart. Oh, even yeah. Oh, yeah. He takes a good right. boy. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> 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 So good. It was I like so good. as I soon so. as like someone says something again, and you're just like, my heart. I know, I know. Well, I mean, we had an early Q and A, right? There was an early Q and A before the show started, and one of the questions was like, "You guys ever thought about making like an animated series with I you know that. your Vox Machina characters?" And I had to be like, and "Girl, like patience." That's <laughs> right. The it's Kickstarter just the was right yeah, around the corner, yeah. and so like that like, love and energy for those characters was yeah. the sweetest thing to send us into the you know preparing for the Kickstarter that. 
killed us the first day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, that was a great episode. If you are one of the two or three people that hasn't seen The Search for Grog, it's available now at youtube.com. Just kidding, Slash. Oh, reversal! <laughs> Critical role. That's all the time we have for tonight. Yeah. I have to rush home to see the Bachelor finale. I am very invested this season. Mm -hmm. um, Is it a two-parter? I thought it was last night. Dude, they're doing this bullshit. <laughs> Imagine, oh. imagine if I, <laughs> imagine if, if on talks we opened and I'm like, are we on the internet? And they do this stuff. I, I, I do the announcements. Yep. I read the crit roll uh -huh. stats and I'm like, and now let's discuss the episode tomorrow, tomorrow. night. Chris Harrison comes out with his baby hands and he's like, tomorrow we're going to, you know, and you're like, ah, I want that job. Yeah. Oh, That's man. the only job I would want more oh, than this man. one. I want to host The Bachelor. You. When he retires, ABC, listen to me. I know you're watching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Look yeah. at the size of these hands. <laughs> Look at the size of these hands. Yeah. Also, also, <laughs> I'm very cheap. I come with minimal uh, legal liabilities. Uh, Travis, would you say that that's... Uh, completely inaccurate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm popular with... Nope. <laughs> People that watch that show. You smell good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Smell good. you do smell Two good. years of trying to, you know, when people meet me at conventions, you know, I'm, I'm a hugger. I like to hug people every once in a while. If someone's comfortable with yep. it, I'll ask them. And they go, oh my God. I initially was going to say no to the hug because of the cabbage thing, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> but now I'm walking away smelling like, you know, uh, lavender and, mm -hmm. you know, I'd use a lot of patchouli oil. I put those down the shirt. Mm -hmm. That was that is? What you're supposed to do with it. Max gave me a hemp necklace he made. It smells really good. I'm wearing garlic. it under this. Max is very good at crafts. I think that's garlic. It's a vampire. <laughs> should, we have, should we have Max do a crafting show on the channel? Yes. That was Max in the horse costume, if you guys saw the Dark Horse promo, oh, by the way. Wearing so those, uh, oh, wearing those nets. What was it? Oh, that was Biscuit. <laughs> biscuit. Who changed it to Biscuit? I named him Tim. <laughs> he was <laughs> named Tim. That was Tallison and Liam. It was really. a debate. Uh, it was a debate. I was like, I like Tim. Pitch me on biscuit, and then this is true. Pitch me on biscuit. You, like, you guys, you this doing? is what happens in our Very channel yeah. every yeah. day. It's pitch me on biscuit. Pitch, pitch me on why biscuit is funnier. Yeah. And uh, Talison made the point where with him in with Max in his Coldplay shirt and his fishnet gloves, he was like, was he looks cure, like the a cure tip. shirt, not a Coldplay. There's a oh, difference sorry, between the, the cure, cure and Coldplay. Sorry. Let's. <laughs> sorry. Let's quickly, let's rush Not to me. make that yes. distinction. You can, you can get either shirts at Hot Topic, though. <laughs> yes, I know can. this because we debate, had the debate. Wow. Send Jerry They're on the same we... Pandora channel. <laughs> we sent Jerry to get the blow dryer today, and I said, this is the worst thing you guys have done to Jerry. And Vinny goes, I sent him to Hot Topic last week. <laughs> Anyway, it's anyway, true. you were saying they uh, picked yeah. you on biscuit. I, I, I said, why, why not Tim? And he was like, look at him. He looks like he could be a Tim, as he's standing there. He, he looks does. like he is a Tim. And he I was does. like, you're right. I guess let's try biscuit. <laughs> so <laughs> biscuit ended up being the one. Ash and I love it when oh animals have gross. like two two human of names, like a like Richard. A, like, yeah, like a dog named Matt. Yeah. Henry. Exactly. We almost <laughs> named him Dan. That's right. You did. We almost named Deadwood, him Dan, Dan Doherty. Yep. Yeah, we almost, but he was such a Henry. Oh, Kyle. Well, I love you guys. That's great. Henry says it's time to go home. Let's go, Henry. Oh, is this the new walking time? Out. This new... Bye, Brian. Yeah, sure. Um, Bye, guys. So, Travis, well. I appreciate Bye. the attempt at flirting. Bye. I appreciate the jester flirtation attempts. I tried. You did try. Parking. But man, the, the gaze please. from from the dragon lady was, whew, that was not happening. Can anyone yeah. validate this parking ticket? Is there anyone that could? Uh... Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it Well, we have five minutes left, so we're going to ask some Search for Grog questions, because you guys haven't been on since Search oh, for Grog. Oh, shit. Wow, okay. Uh, so rapid fire through these. Talison, Alpi67, what? I've been on since Search for Grog. You have already? You have? Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's okay. That's why it's a lot of Talison questions, and then Talison and Laura. Do you want to go? Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to leave. Okay. No, Bye. there's questions about Prasalia. Yeah. <laughs> Boring. 
Talison, everyone that's been on Talks before said that one of the best moments for them was hearing Percy's voice again. Aww. How was it for you to slip into his shoes? It felt so good. Yeah, seemed like I had, had like I found my little uh, my little accent exercises and was like, I miss doing this. It was so nice. I yeah, like just being a smarmy shitty. It was so good to be a <laughs> pound prompty. <laughs> just he's such a bitch. He's a bitch. He is, he is a bitch. But yeah. So wonderful. Mm. He's the such best a. Bitch. He's the best kind of bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah the, the 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 shade at Keyleth was really pleasant. That was yeah. a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. good. You, were, you shoot, you threw shade at everybody except your wife. No, never. Yeah. <laughs> you would never shade your wife, but everybody never. else, you threw some hard shade, and it made mm -hmm. me so happy. I miss Percy so much. The Grey Hunt asks, "How was it revisiting Percy and Vex and their dynamic after so long playing characters who interact very differently than those two? What do you miss the most about playing them together?" Fucking power couple, man. Yeah. Big time. It's weird because it, it did like, I feel like we didn't miss a beat mm. with how it like felt going back to, yeah. Yeah. Felt so good. Oh, I'm ready for more. <laughs> uh, Silly Bill asked, Talison, had you remembered Scanlan's joke about losing your arm before you started? Were you surprised that Matt made it happen? And Laura, what were your thoughts? Sam reminded me. I had no recollection of this moment, and so I was completely caught off guard when that was happening. I was like, what the fuck is going on right now in this game? Yeah, Sam, <laughs> Sam reminded me that that was a joke and that it was going to happen, but like, I thought he was just being Sam, and <laughs> yeah. we're not actually going to do that, Sam, shut the fuck up. He is a it's troll. Not funny. He is a troll. And then he did it, and I'm like, I, I don't understand what is up and down anymore. Mm -hmm. this is, <laughs> I, I, I like, it was, it was the brilliant. The teeny and, Percy and coming out of that was amazing. shoulder. I was I was very Sam Sam quite impressed me with his like oh no I'm not letting this not happen yeah um, a question for Tumblr Vesper DiRolo is there a story behind where Percy and Vex got their wedding rings not yet oh my shit must have had to go down yeah right are they yeah. made of white stone I mean I don't think you can make a ring out of I mean like there's there's the green crystals that you can do because that kind of thing but like that's pretty cool. I don't know. Like I a wanna... polished green crystal mm -hmm. ring? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it kind of has some magic glow in it. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, we got to think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something I didn't think about, Talison, uh, Mr. Magnetism, mm. did Matt end up releasing the golden snitch back to Percy for the search for Grog one nope. shot? <gasps> he did not? No. Didn't need it. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Percy. 156 points of damage or the, whatever that was. The golden snitch is gone. Percy's energy. I have, an, I have an anti snitch now. People don't yeah. know, but the golden snitch is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I use an anti snitch. The now. golden snitch was stolen. Yeah. Literally in real life. Yeah. Wait, what? No, it's, it's gone. This, it's literally it gone. Got stolen. It's somewhere out in the world. Uh, fucking up games. Some of Matt's stuff got stolen, and yeah, that his was car with got it. broken into. And his, yeah, it's gone. I yeah. had no idea. Yeah. yeah. I hope that whoever broke into his car and took it, that something of Talison's soul in that dice made them crash. I hope they were fine. I hope they were fine. I hope Ryan. they were fine. <laughs> like a sugar crash or something. Yeah, like, like just really when they got ride. home, they were like, oh, I don't have the energy to get online and talk shit about women. I have to just go to sleep. No, the anti, the anti, uh, yeah, no, the, uh, the, the, yeah, the anti snitch worked out very the well. Yeah, the anti snitch. Uh, Kimber May for Talos and Laura. What are your plans for Percy's severed arm now that he grew a new one? Did we keep it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah should you put it up in the holding. house somewhere? How long does an arm last? Well, a while. Yeah. If what? In the bag of colding, a while. Oh it'll yeah. Last a bit. It'll last a while. Is okay. a bag of colding transparent? Can you see into it? No. No. Why would you want to see into the bag of cold? So you can see the arm, you know? And the keep amount it of stuff that's in that bag of colding is it's just fucking covered in troll dick now. Or it's something. no, no, no. It, it, I still have the um, Kevdak skin because oh. Grog wanted his tattoo. So oh, wait, no, no. I think that was, he, he put that like, he, yeah. he like took the tattoo and like, didn't he like do something with it? He did. He crafted. He was hanging yeah, out crafting. The Kevdak skin, I think, is like now like. On him or like something. What? It's like a fancy jacket, I think, or something. Yeah. What? No. That's I think so. Foul. It's awesome. Travis, I think I'm right. We'll find out. I'll <laughs> ask him. Is Travis here? No, I don't know. But I'll ask him when I get home. We can actually make like a little cardboard welcome to a Whitestone greeter and we can just attach it onto like a mechanism so Percy's arm is just always <laughs> wearing Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the best like idea. It. It's, like the, it's like the <laughs> cowboy you, you and know, on the strip. It would be really cool. Like you could put a grave. You could have something in the crypt and just have here lies Percy. But then mm -hmm. you're still. You know, like in front of the car, 
dealerships where the guys like yeah the wavy you just have Percy's mm -hmm. arm. Come get your wagon or whatever the fuck. Paint your wagon. I don't know. Paint your wagon. That's the show. That's not how you do it. No. That does not look like an arm. Oh, I was doing the. Oh, you're the doing the guy. The inflatables. <laughs> <laughs> I love your tired impression of it. it was just I love awesome how, going. how much of the show tonight your eyes have been closed. Oh, yeah. like, half the, <laughs> Whenever half you're half answering week, a yeah. question, <laughs> Talison's eyes were closed. <laughs> and half of Talison's <laughs> answer to the question. Yeah, mean, you know, yeah. Cool. That's how you imagine Caduceus talks. Just like, yeah, no. eyes closed most of the time. You would no, think Talison was in his car before the show hitting a fucking gravity bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream right there. <laughs> Dang, no, we I talked was, about Scott. We talked little... about gravity bongs. This has been a good night. Mob Town? You guys know about Mob Town? Uh, no. Oh man. Who else do we have? Steph. Steve? Who else did I leave out? Sugar Ray. Oh. Sugar Ray was, was not, not ska. ska. I'm just, I that was, that was Prog Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Sublime? Sublime? That's not ska. ska? That's not ska. <laughs> no, that's Prog no. Rock. Oh. No, Sublime Prog Rock? <laughs> yeah, Sublime was heavy Prog Rock, dude. Right, Henry? Oh, look at that tongue. Well, anyway. that's all the time we have for tonight, folks. I would Henry. like to thank Laura and what's left of Taliesin for joining <laughs> us tonight. Sleep in the sleep of the just tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 56 airs this Thursday. Oh, man. And then remember, we're taking a week off. Yes. Till then, please, please, please don't forget to love each other. And don't worry, it's almost Thursday. Woo! That's really loud. <laughs> Could you wait? Take the pictures now while they're laughing. Chris, take the pictures stop. now while they're stop. laughing. It's not cool. Don't, just like, when I tell you, you know, come in and grab a nice organic moment. If Lil Mott's not making the face. I don't mean, sh you know, a hundred shutters. It sounds like TMZ just walked in here hoping to get a shot of my vag. Wow. Well, did that wow. What a way to end the episode. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Guess we're on this camera now. <laughs> <laughs>